Okay, we're in a really interesting time for the arts at the moment. They say a recession is good for artists, and in many ways, um, I think it is because it forces us to be creative, it forces us to be inventive, and a lot of the things that we took for granted in the past, we can no longer take for granted in the future because so many things are being cut, resources are being um, much more kind of thinner on the ground, if you like, and this thing that we've become so used to, this kind of art world that we sort of feel like we have it, is sort of shrinking in so many ways, and we have to reinvent it. And that's an opportunity for really exciting things to happen. Up to now, I think that the art world has become a little bit unhealthy. I don't think that, if you like, what's good for the art world, or what the art world thinks is, is good for the art world, is good for artists, but what is good for young artists is definitely good for the art world. And what that means is that as young artists, new artists, we can start to generate ideas, generate ways of making art, basically, giving it to the public, getting it out there, that will create a much more kind of healthy, vibrant culture. I think that this country has a huge potential to be um, culturally explosive, culturally vibrant, culturally really seething with energy. We're at the stage now where we can do that, um, but at the moment everything seems to be kind of held back. It's like everyone's waiting for some kind of institutional approval, but the talent is there, the people are there, the, the ability, the vision, the imagination is there, and we just need to find much more interesting ways to get our art out there to the public. And what I'm really passionate about, I suppose, is not waiting for the powers that be that are above us to kind of grant us permission to help us kind of make our exhibition or do our installation or do our production and give it to the public, but is instead about gathering the people who are on the ground who are kind of ready to get together, use the resources that we've got and get that out to the public and really create something that the public it's much more about the public then, it's much more at that kind of a level, it's not a kind of top-down institutional kind of thing, but instead it's something that the public can really engage with, really feel excited by, and that they're a part of in so many ways. So what I would like to do is to find a really exciting way for artists of different kinds, totally different kinds of creativity, music and composers and writers and um, visual artists to come together and create experiences for the public that are genuinely interesting, genuinely exciting, and that as a result um, create what we would like to call a scene. But it's more than just a scene, it's more than just a party, it's, it's like it goes much deeper than that. And it actually creates culture. And I think if artists can create opportunities um, for themselves and for each other, that will encourage other artists to do the same, we start to inspire each other, we start to encourage each other, you get so much strength from kind of mutual inspiration rather than a kind of top-down sort of permission kind of culture. And I think if we can get that sort of mutual inspiration thing going in um, this part of the world, then I think we'll have a really, really healthy culture. And I think that's something that's really worth pushing for. It's not something that we necessarily have here, but I've seen glimpses of it in other places, and uh, it's been very inspiring. You know, people talk about, you know, Berlin and um, Budapest and places like that as having a kind of really healthy um, art culture. And Edinburgh is a very different kind of city from that. We get lots of people to come from elsewhere and put stuff on in our kind of stomping ground in our backyard, if you like, but we don't do much of it ourselves. And it's almost like the city becomes exhausted by the great party that it hosts, um, but it doesn't necessarily benefit any of the grassroots creativity in the city other than by kind of showing us what great stuff is going on, which is pretty good. But I think there's something else to be done here, something that we can take a lead from that exciting precedent of the fringe, which itself has become a little bit of an institution, and we can start to create a kind of exciting, grassroots, inspiring culture um, that will generate more and more inspiration, generate more and more energy, and um, genuinely create culture. I think that's what I think is quite exciting and quite important. Something like that.